Hello, welcome to 15minuteguitar.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This is part two to our part one of Jingle Bells that we did in the last lesson. Grab your guitar and I'll see you in the lesson. So I hope you've had lots of fun with Jingle Bells, which we did uh, in the last lesson. Um, in this lesson, we're going to learn Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and we're going to approach it in exactly the same fashion. So we're going to learn the melody line and we're going to learn the chords as we did with Jingle Bells. Uh, we've kept it really synchronised so that the rhythm pattern that you learnt from Jingle Bells, we can recycle that and we can use it for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay? Um, don't forget as well, you'll get the backing tracks to accompany all of this and the tablature. Um, so don't forget to print that out and have it in front of you when you sit down and practice. Uh, you can practice along with the lead parts, with and without the lead, and with and without the rhythm as well if you want to do that. Uh, so let's get straight to learning it. Um, what we're going to do, we start, um, as I said, just before we start, sorry, we're going to be doing alternate picking throughout this whole piece. If you're not sure what that is, it's really simple. It's just down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, and that's what you're gonna be doing, alternating your picking between down and ups. Instead of just doing down picking or up picking. If you're really struggling and you're a complete beginner, um, and you're thinking, what is alternate picking? I can't get the hang of this. Um, then just do it all down picking. You'll still get through it. It won't sound as good um, and as synchronized, but it will still work. Um, and if you, if you feel like that's gonna get you through the piece and you get, get you playing, we have no problems with you just practicing that with a down pick. Um, so let's get straight to the piece. Starts off, open G string. Second finger goes down on the second fret of the G. Then open again on the G. Then second fret on the D string with the second finger. And then up to fret one on the B string with finger one. Finger two, fret two of the G string. And then open on the G. Okay, so we got. And then had a very shiny nose, that part. Really simple, it's open on the G. Fret two, open, two, open, fret one on the B, and then open on the B. Okay? And then the next part, fret three on the D string with finger three, open on the G, fret three again, open on the D, open on the B, fret two on the G with finger two, open, then we're back to this little passage again, the and on the second time, it goes fret two on the G, down to fret two on the D. And then we go again, it goes. And this is where it changes. So the same so far, open two, open two. And then three on the B string with the third finger. And then finger one on fret one of the, um, the B string. Okay, I'm teaching this quite quickly, but I'm, I'm hoping that you can read the tablature as well when you're practicing this along. And don't forget, you can stop the video at any time, rewind back and watch it back through. So that's part one. So that's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Had a very shiny nose, that section. Well done, guys. So that was part one you've just learned there. Uh, this is part, num part number two. This is then one foggy Christmas Eve. So if we carry on from there, uh, this goes fret two on the G string, finger two. We pick that twice. Fret one on the B string with finger one. Back to fret two on the G. Open on the G. Fret two on the D with finger two. Open on the uh, G. Fret three with finger three on the D string. Fret two with second finger on the G string. Open on the G. Fret three again on the D string with finger three. And then fret two on the D string with finger two. And then uh, Rudolph with your nose so bright, that section is gonna be uh, open D. Twice, open G, fret two on the G, and then open on the B string, three of those, and then fret three on the B string, two of those, finger one now on the B string, fret one, fret one, fret two on the G string with the second finger, and then open on the G, and then finger three, fret three of the D string, and then open on the D. So let's play that just from the top, so from then one foggy Christmas Eve. And then the next bit's exactly the same as the first bit, so it goes... Uh, all the same as what you've already done already. And on the end it goes 
open on the G, two, open, two, open, fret three on the B string, and then fret one on the B string. And you've already done that in part one, you did do that part. Um, use the tab as well to help you on this. Um, just to say before we go on, you may notice um, that when I'm doing some of the notes and hanging on the notes, I'm wiggling my finger a little bit. Uh, and what that is, is called vibrato. Um, and if you're a complete beginner, um, don't worry too much about it, but if you're maybe sort of beginner moving up into intermediate sort of level, then try and add some vibrato to it, because what that does, instead of the notes sounding stale and me just going like... And all the notes just being really sort of stale and quite wooden, if I add some vibrato to that, so sort of... Which is a really sort of sweet characteristic to add to the note. Um, but just practice that, and all I'm doing is using my my wrist on the back of the neck um, just to wobble the note, and it takes some control to get used to that. But just in case you're watching it and thinking, what's he doing on that note there? It's called vibrato, the technique. Um, and just have a little look at that if you want to make it sound a bit more professional. Great, guys, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next clip. Okay, so luckily for you guys, um, Rudolph shares very similar chords um, to Jingle Bells. Uh, so there's five chords to learn in this one. Uh, we've got a C, we've got a G, we've got a G7, an F, and a D minor. Okay, so I'm going to show you those shapes, not necessarily in that order, um, but I'm going to show you those shapes so you can play the shapes, and then I'll show you the strumming pattern, which is the same as Jingle Bells, um, and then you can go away and have a practice with the backing track and see if you can get the hang of the chords. Um, to begin with, you probably want to leave the backing track probably till a little bit later on, learn the chord shapes first, try and get through the changes of the chords, just breaking that down, uh, and once you've got that, pop the backing track on, and that's your final piece if you can get that to put together with the rhythm. Okay, so the, the five chords we're going to look at. C major is uh, our chord, first chord that we play, uh, and that's compromised, uh, made up of uh, a third finger on the third fret of the A string, second finger of, on the second fret of the D string, open on the G string, and our first finger on the B string fret one, and then we've got open on the high E as well. So I'm gonna strum that down. Okay, so it's one strum at the moment. If we learn the rhythm pattern very quickly, we can add that to it. We did this in Jingle Bell, so it's exactly the same, okay? Um, so it's gonna be down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Like I said in Jingle Bell's video, you may look silly, like I do here, but just make sure you sing along to it and you're saying down, down, up, up, down, up in the rhythm that you're trying to play. Um, just to say as well, when you strum down on the chord, you're hit from the fifth string, uh, which is our, um, you know, our C note covered by the left hand here, there. Um, we're gonna strum down. And when we strum back up, it's a flick of the wrist up, and we only really hit the sort of the, the three high strings here, because the low strings are already ringing out on the down strum, all right? So we get this. Right, so we don't have to drag the pick all the way back up, which I see quite regularly. So just get used to that. So just a flick of the wrist up and you just hit the, the high strings at the top there. So that's chord number one, that's a C. Then we go to the G chord, okay? And we're gonna play the G chord like this with our third finger on the E string fret three, our second finger on the second fret of the A string, and then our little finger on fret three of the high E string. Now the reason why I'm gonna play it like that is because the next chord that we go to, which will be the G7, um, it will make sense. If we do it like this, um, to move to the G7, it's a lot more movement, okay? So we're gonna do it like that. Um, and we've got all the strings open in the middle, and we hit all the strings again, same rhythm. And then the next chord we're gonna go to is the G7, all right? And all we need to do for G7 is lift off our little finger and add your first finger on the first fret of the high E string, and there's G7. Okay? Uh, next chord we want to look at then is our F chord, um, and we did this one in Jingle Bells, like some of the other ones as well. Uh, this one starts with the third finger on the D string, fret number three, second finger on the G string, fret number two, and our first finger barred across, a little mini bar here again, on fingers, uh, finger one on fret one of the B and the E there, okay? And that's our F chord, we hear that from the D string. Watch, you don't hit any of these low strings here. Okay. Uh, next chord we need to learn um, is our D minor chord, okay? Uh, and D minor is simply this. All right, and what we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna put our second finger on the second fret of the G string, 
our third finger on the third fret of the B string, and our first finger on the first fret of the high E string. And we're gonna hit that from the D string again there. And again, try and experiment if you can. Don't press down really hard with the thumb, but just rest it just very lightly on the top, over the top of the strings. So if you accidentally hit these low strings, which you will do to begin with, they won't ring out, you won't hear them, they'll be muted. Okay, so the five chords we've got, C, G, like this, G7, F, D minor. Okay, get those chords down, um, and I'll quickly do a playthrough for you now so you can hear that in context. Hi guys, thanks for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed that course. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, 15 Minute Guitar, uh, and check out our website, 15MinuteGuitar.com, for more courses like this.